Do you find task management in Microsoft 365 tricky? Because every single day we get so many tasks on email, Microsoft Teams messages, or even put on post-it notes on our desk. It's really hard to keep track of all these tasks that are coming into us. And yes, we can absolutely focus on tools like Microsoft Planner, but what about the small things? Those small things can save a whole heap of time. And that's why today I'm gonna to be showing you six features that are often overlooked in Microsoft 365 that can vastly improve how you manage your work and all of those important tasks. Now, before we dive in and you grab that notepad ready to take notes, well, there's no need because this whole tutorial is now built around one of our recent eBooks you can access for free today. So whether you finish the video or want to go and grab it early, you can find a link below to download it so you can reference these tips later and bring it in to your working day. So let's dive into Microsoft 365 and see what you could be missing. So with the help of New Outlook and Microsoft Planner, we can now easily transform an email message into a task. Yes, as you can see here, I've got an email. There's a task noted at the top. What I'd like to do is rather than transform the whole email into a task, I just want this particular part of the email. Well, all we need to do is double click and highlight this content. And by hovering above it, we can see a create task button appears. By left clicking, the to-do sidebar opens on the right hand side. And as we can see, the task is now generated inside of Microsoft Planner and to-do. By left clicking on the email here, it will even open the email directly in place. And even better, that task is also synchronized into apps like Planner in Microsoft Teams, meaning you can transform a single part of an email into a task to get working on it later. And with the help of Microsoft Loop, we can also create a collaborative task list, which is also synchronized with Microsoft Planner, providing automated notifications and more. So here I am inside of Microsoft Loop in a brand new ideas page. Equally, it works on any type of Loop page and even create these directly in other apps like Microsoft Teams as well. So to do that, all I'll do is click on the forward slash key and now I'll search for the word task. We can see here a task list appears and he's pre-configured inside of our loop page. We can now begin to add our tasks, define who they're assigned to, the due date, and even the buckets, which all synchronize in Microsoft Planner. Let's go ahead and add in a few tasks. And once our task list has been updated, it also updates back into Microsoft Teams, once again, using the Planner app. Here's our task under Assigned to Me that we can see here on the screen synchronized directly from Microsoft Loop. And remember that I said you can create task lists elsewhere? You absolutely can. Here inside of a Teams post inside of one of our channels, we can also add a loop task list. By hitting the loop button at the bottom, we can simply select task list, and here we can create one directly in Microsoft Teams, the message, once again synchronized by Microsoft Planner, helping you with the assignment notifications and more. And there's another way you can create a task inside of the new Outlook. Just go to the top right and open the Microsoft To Do sidebar. Left click your email and you'll see two options, add in as event, which we'll cover very shortly, but also add as a task. By left clicking and dropping into this bucket, we'll now see the task has now been added into Microsoft To Do. The subject of the email now becomes a task title. Once again, you click on email to get back to that email quickly but it's also synchronized back into Planner inside of Microsoft Teams. Because as we can see, it's right here. Under our private task inside of the Planner app in Teams, we can also see this task and even have a handy link to get straight back to it at the bottom to the email itself. So a simple way to transform an email into a task. But do you remember I mentioned there's another option? When we left click and we drag to the right hand side in your to-do sidebar, we just selected add as a task, but this time let's select add as an event. In doing this, this is now created as an event in your calendar. You can now book time against. It even includes additional people on the email thread to potentially book time with them and includes the original email beneath. It means you can now book out time to get that work completed. With a simple left click and drag to the right hand side, you can book the time that you need to do the all important work. 
and how many times you have a team's message that you need to act on to do a piece of work. But it's really hard to track when it's just a team's message or a post in a channel. But there's an easy option with Microsoft Planner to create a task from that message. Simply hover over, select the free dot menu, and then select Create Planner Task. And here we can now very simply add it into any of your Microsoft Planner plans under the Creating section here, or even create it as a private task only you have visibility to in the Microsoft To Do function inside a Microsoft Planner. And we can also use this trick inside of a Microsoft Teams channel. Here's a single post we have to track an action on reviewing an email. By selecting the free dot menu, select Create Planner Task, we can do exactly the same. So transforming a Teams post or a message into a task can be easily done in a couple of clicks. And finally, there must be a way to track all of your tasks because quite simply, there's just so much to get done. And absolutely there is. By heading into the Planner app inside of Microsoft Teams, you'll be able to get a view of all of your tasks over all of your plans and more, and even have quick access to some that you often use. So to do that, click on the freed up menu and search for the word Planner. When you find it, simply left click to be taken to this app. Now you have a view of any tasks that are due today under My Day. Your My Tasks show you all of your tasks over all of your different plans that you've got with Microsoft Planner, Planner Premium to do as well. You can also use these buttons here to navigate through those different types of tasks. On the left hand side, you've got also a view of all of your pin plans and the My Plans section gives you a view of all of your plans. But as I mentioned, if you often use one of your plans, you can add it into the pin section. Just head down and hover over any of your plans that are not pinned. And then select the pin icon to have it appear on the left hand side you can simply left click into and get back to quickly. So a simple way to get back to all of your tasks in Microsoft Planner. So there you go, we've now covered six features in Microsoft 365 that's often overlooked to improve the way that you can manage your daily tasks. But if you didn't take those notes, don't forget the link below in the video description. We're about to take you to our brand new ebook where we cover these tips to help you use them every single day. And of course, I'd love to know in the comments if you believe we've missed any that you'd love to share with our wider community here at Your365 Coach. I know I certainly love to see your comments as does the wider community as well. And otherwise, if this video has helped, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.